Welcome back to my channel guys, it's me, everyone, another uh, manga chapter review. This is going to be on a new one called Aliens uh, Area, which is releasing on Shonen Jump. And uh, it's actually one that I'm more excited about than anything else. Um, it, it does have a promising story. Um, so personally, from this one and Ruri Dragon, I think this one probably is the one that I'm I'm more excited about. Um, if you haven't checked that Ruri Dragon uh, review out, it is out already. Uh, also, a channel update is out already as well as other stuff. So make sure you go check those out before anything. Um, but if you have seen those and you're back or you have seen them already before even watching this video, then good for you. Uh, you make sure you subscribe to my channel, comment, like, and share. That helps tremendously. So, um, Alien Area is a manga that you can find in Shonen Jump. And time of recording, there is two chapters. I'm pretty sure by the time this releases, there's going to be three. Um, and I probably will have chapter two already recorded. So, um, just kind of throwing all that out, <laughs> just just so you guys know. Um, this is definitely a, a series that... Um, uh, it, it, it kept me wanting to read to the end and first chapters are always uh, you know longer than most so if it's not a good story it's hard to read the entire chapter uh, in one sitting if it's not interesting you know if it doesn't hook you this one did so it, and, and it is it's an easy read so I was able to read through um, a few things that I want to say genre wise on this one I'm gonna say it is um, in the in the whole um, I don't want to say magic, but you have this alien's powers, uh, suspense, you have, uh, definitely mystery and you, you definitely have action in this one. So, um, we start off with this guy who has two kids. He, he's constantly living the single uh, dad life and he's working jobs to make ends meet. And, um, in one of his jobs, he breaks, I believe it's a plate or something very important, and he cuts himself. Um, and it's a huge cut, but it heals itself really fast. And everyone in the kitchen is like, how the heck that happened, right? But at the same time, they're like, you broke something. So they fire him, right? So he's not having the best day. And the big take that we take from that is that he knows, and he's not even like worried about, the fact that his hand can heal itself. Uh, now he does uh, get medical help and uh, one of the doctors is a little strange asking way too many questions, but uh, he explains to him that this has been happening for a few years now, that his hand, whenever it gets hurt, it kind of just heals itself. Um, and he doesn't know why, but it just does, right? So he's kind of laid off and he goes home um, and when he arrives home, there's a very strange man waiting there for him. Now, we know that this guy's an alien by just the eyes. The eyes are just creepy as heck. Uh, so he goes in, the guy follows him, him in, and essentially, uh, there's another guy in there as well who is as creepy as the first one, and they just want to talk. And essentially, they want his arm. His arm is a... A weapon or a species that was implanted in him without him knowing and they basically want to take it back um, now it gets sticky when his kids show up his little girl and his son show up um, because he doesn't want his kids to be hurt that's understandable he's the dad right <coughs> so he doesn't know how this happens but he protects his kids by making his arm extend and uh, he basically i don't know if he kills him or just like knocks him out but he definitely throws him out of the building he throws the first guy out with that punch and the the second guy freaks out and he's like how dare you uh do that to us like we like especially with that arm so he starts attacking him and he is saved by the doctor uh, I believe that's really the end of the chapter. He's saved by the doctor uh, after he's attacked from the second alien. And essentially, they they explain to him that this phenomena 
has happened uh, or happened a few years ago where aliens abducted people uh, or did experiments within people and they essentially are offering him a job to work for the organization to find other people like him and that's basically what it is um it, it has a little bit of like men in black feelings to it at the same time not really because men in black wasn't dark as this one was i, I think this one's a, a little bit darker it's not too dark where people would be turned off uh but it's dark enough where it keeps you in that suspense level um personally i think it's gonna be a good series uh i think it's not for everyone still uh shonen jump hasn't really been releasing the typical we're gonna sell a lot of money with these type of series um and i personally like it because although the mass prefers those type of series where they're kind of cookie cut sometimes um it, it gets tiring after a while and if you read a lot you want something new you want something special something fresh and this one actually you know it hooked me so i'm gonna say out of 10 i'm gonna give this one a seven i think that's what it deserves um definitely is promising and hopefully uh it, it doesn't doesn't end up being something that is repetitive or something that i end up regretting giving it a seven so Anyways, guys, uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel, comment, like, and share. Let me know what you guys think on this series, if you've read it. I know some of you guys have been reading this series before me. Uh, so, yeah, let me know. I will have Chapter 2 out for sure. I don't know if I'll do Chapter 2 of Rui Dragon, to be honest, because... Uh, I don't know. It didn't really hug me as much as this one. So uh, wait for chapter two and see what happens. Thank you for the love and support. Like always, don't be strangers and see you guys.